what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Painting. You're painting? Yeah. Nice. Good morning. We've been out here for about a week now and we're still enjoying it, still getting the kinks worked out. Uh, luckily we have a three day weekend uh, for Labor Day coming up here so we are going to work a lot. We've got time to do it finally. So I'm going to be pulling everything out, organizing it all, getting it put back. That's been the most frustrating part is just having stuff stuck in places that we need to get it organized so life goes a little bit smoother. So all the containers are getting emptied out, the house is getting empty out, emptied out. Get all that put together, organized, get the top of the loft finished up so the kids can start sleeping up there instead of on the floor in the main area, that'll help. And then we've got a couple extra batteries to get hooked into the solar area. We've got the shed my friend gave me to get built for the dogs. And various projects. We'll keep busy this weekend. All right, I finished insulating up here on the loft area of where the kids are gonna be sleeping. Did not get to the middle or that loft yet, so we'll be doing those soon, but I'm about out of the foam. Which at this point I'm actually fine with because this stuff is messy. I've got foam all over the tiny cabin I've got to clean up now. But anyway, there's our leftover power. We had some plugs and lights and stuff here. We need to rerun. And so right now, as the budget allows right now, I'm going to go ahead and cover, cover up all this foam with this landscaping fabric just to keep all the little bits and pieces from falling all over the place. And then we're going to throw a couple of rugs on the ground and let the boys sleep up here tonight. And then once I get, like I said, money budgeted for this project, we'll be putting up some um, boards over the foam and I want to reinforce the floor with some more nicer plywood and stick the rugs down again or some you know wood flooring whatever we'll see how it goes then but for now the main part is insulated and it's a lot cooler up here now we are going to put a dog a shed up for the dogs to sleep in uh, back here next to this camp <coughs> excuse me next to this kennel but we are going to take the kennel out and turn it around and bring it back so the doors are all in similar areas so we're just cleaning everything out to move that and then come back in and level off the rest of this dirt down here and get the shed built let's measure the footprint we build this
Today's project is getting this garbage pile as much as possible into this trailer and hauling it down to the dump. We're trying to get rid of this once and for all. This will be a little bit cheaper this way, or a lot cheaper this way than renting a dumpster again. able to get some pallets from work yesterday so we've got quite a bit now to build compost bins and put some under the shed for the dogs and probably potato bin and I'm sure we'll, sure we'll come up with a lot of uses for these so I gotta get these off and then of course we'll see what happens later in the day. Okay, do you want to center this in between the eight feet or do you want to push it to the side for more? Yeah, uh, center it. Huh? Don't stick that tape back down. Yeah, but there's like a whole inch gap All back right. here. Alright, just fill it up. I don't, I mean, there's nothing to hold it. It goes straight down into the... Here, let me see what I can do from this side. I need something to stand on. Hey, where's okay, that small fine. ladder? Go get me the small ladder. Hey, it's sitting right here. It's right here, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> it's sitting right here. Dad's being impressive. It's right up here, right by Dad. Yeah, the ladder was right there. <laughs> this is our dog's new little home. Hey, kids, mine. And the generator storage area. Anyway, all these are insulation for the top of our great container. See right there, those are new additions. The black and the giant water tank with those wood logs. See those? Those are the same as these. We just, this is a trailer we're borrowing and we had it filled to the brim with trash. Um, when me and dad went to go pick up some more money so we could finish this, my, my mom and my brother Drew managed to somehow completely unload this thing and it wasn't just as high as the walls. We had big panels and that raised it up a lot. There's my brother. This garbage pile was around twice the size. Actually, probably even more than that. Massive. 
giant garbage bags everywhere. See that board right there? We had like we had several of those stacked around the edges of the wall that raised it up a lot, allowing us to put a lot more garbage in there. After that, we, we unloaded the back of Dad's truck. We came back home after buying some of those boards you see up there in one second. Oh my gosh, it's a wild, it's a wild, it's a wild trash crab. Okay, that is hideous. God, what the freak, Joe? Get out of my property! Joe, she's probably gonna cut that out. Okay, make the stupidest <laughs> face, face you can possibly make. That is, that is nowhere near your stupidest. That is a, more along your creepy. That That's... So future mom, edit this out. Because, yeah. Okay, please. For my own not getting embarrassed. Thank you. For editing out if you do. Because I really hope you do. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's a pile of toys I made. Because my mom told me to get all the toys out of her. Oh. If you haven't seen yet... We cleaned this out. It might not look cleaned out, but before it is a bit, quite a bit worse. Hey. You almost done? Smile for the camera. Okay. There's <laughs> Jack. There's Jack, all of our cats. He's a good kitty. I love the kitty. He's a good kitty. Hasn't been neutered yet, though, so we need to do that soon. There's this cage we put them in at night in the house so the coyotes out here don't get them. Yeah? Alright. Okay, bye. Alright, it's the end of the day on Saturday. And just to recap what we did today. Uh, we've got the water tank. We've got some 4x6s from Lowe's to set that 350 gallon water tank on top of um, the. Three, uh, four by sixes span the eight foot width of the container and rest on the metal brace the other metal frame so it should support that water really well the black tank I've got the faucet um, area that's dripping all over I've got it uh, curing with the sealant so we can put that up tomorrow we have gotten rid of the majority of our trash pile one more load left we managed to take that down to the dump today, get that unloaded. This is all styrofoam stuff from the roof where I just cleaned off for the water tanks. And then I got some more styrofoam to finish insulating the other half of the roof in the house. So we got those down at the swap meet today. Thank you, Deb, for calling us and letting us know it was there. Those we got for 10 bucks a pop which is a lot cheaper still. It's twice as much as I paid for the last round, but tons cheaper than buying insulation at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. And it's a lot thicker than you can find there too. So that's another project coming up. Cool rainy morning. Look at our poor plants. They're drowning. Let's dump all that water out. And it is just wet. And it's starting to turn into snowflakes. Oh dear, I have a pool. Gosh dang it. Okay. Well, anyway, I haven't let the dogs out yet today because it's been so cold and wet. But I think they want out. So, let's get this back over here. I have to keep this up against it because I can push the door open. Even with this bar right here. Puppies! It's wet and cold, puppies. Let's see how you did in here. Oh, good, it's dry in here. My pet job works. All right, good. Okay, let's see how long they want to stay in the ring now. Cool. All right, I'm hiding out in the shed. 
and then all the doggies go and do their thing and it's to come back in here. It's not warm, but it's not cold, cold in here, and they have fur coats on. I was gonna put him in the gray container for a minute. Hey, but Gizzy, he's back. Um, to warm up with the kerosene heater, but I don't want to step in that pool I created over there. So I was gonna do wrap-up video this morning, but now I'm gonna just do an easy little uh, one now. I'm not gonna walk around too much. Um, just in case you haven't noticed, we I, I took two of our dogs down to the Humane Society last week. <coughs> the two black border collies that kept getting into the porcupines. I had to either keep them on chains all day and it was very limited mobility when I go around or somebody takes them for a walk or if I let them go they run off for hours or they try and sneak off if you look away from them they run off and don't mind coming back and they got into the porcupines again so it's just not working out for them out here they need a home that has a fenced area uh, that they can be in so I took them down to the Humane Society come back come yes so they are now being taken care of down there. And I must admit, it's a lot nicer not having to stress about them all the time and keeping them on chains and watching them every second to make sure they didn't run away. So, so we're down to two dogs, which is all good for me. Anyway, I'm gonna end this. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll be posting more soon. It's so much fun when you're using a portage on in the rain. So these cool little vents up here. It's raining inside too.